And so I, I, then I did the first cut with him, and uh, then at, uh, later on we edit three of them, uh, three of us with Jan and uh, Jan Rai and me. Uh, and uh, Jan Anke gave, of course, gave lots of uh, good advice and uh, changed lots of things in the uh, in the, st the structure of the film. Uh, and uh, what I really appreciate is uh, to see their relation because Jan Anke is a very experienced director. Jan Rai is. Uh, very young, and uh, uh, for him, it's uh, for a first time director, it's always hard to um, uh, it's always hard to to uh, to, uh, to change uh, his mind on things. But the editing is always this process. You have to forget the script and forget the shooting and do something new. And uh, Jean Rai was very very. Uh, uh, responsive, uh, he was uh, always uh, open in his mind uh, about making uh, uh, a change and uh, reacting all, all the time very, very fast. So for me, and I know for Jadanko as well, he, it's uh, very uh, nice to work with him. And uh, for, 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 for Jadanko, he has lots of uh, faith in, uh, in, in Jarai because uh, for him, the most important in making a film is uh, the collaboration, and uh, uh, I know that he could see uh, uh, when he worked with Jean Rai that uh, this uh, young uh, director has uh, uh, some uh, a great uh, uh, future. <laughs>那我现在我回答第二个问题现在中国正处在城市化进程过程之中电厂的建设另外一方面是因为人口迁徙那么很多人农民离开土地去城镇中选择新的生活方式 So um, the second part of the question I, I will have an answer to that now um, China is experiencing a great uh, process of, of urbanization now um, a lot of rural areas a lot of countryside are actually disappearing they're dying um, why is that? Uh, basically, there are, there are two reasons. One is industrialization, um, and one is the other uh, building a lot of power plants as well. And the second reason is that the population is uh, is moving, is migrating from the rural area to the urban area, to the cities, um, leaving the rural area uh, 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 behind. My uh, 我在那里度过了我的童年生活，那么这个村子也是这样一个状况。呃，当我面对这个村子的现在这样的状况的时候，我除了能够回想起以前充满活力的农村生活之外，还会想起很多在这个村子里我所听到的传说故事。uh, in an area called Lois Plateau. Uh, Lois means the yellowish of earth and, and in a highland. Um, it is, it's a small village, and this small village is actually experiencing this kind of situation as I described before. Now, um, when I'm looking back, um, I always remember how lively my hometown used to be and all the folklores I used to listen to all the time. 在这些传说故事之中，最令我印象深刻的就是某一个已经去世的人附在活着的人身上回来。Um, and one of the folklores that impressed me most was um a dead person came back to this world and possess a living person.在我这个故事之中，呃，我需要一一双过去的眼睛。来注视着现在的土地，那么我想，我所听到的这个传说故事中，就有我所需要的过去的眼睛。
，因为只有死去的人才是真正属于过去的。So um, in this story, I actually needed um, um, eyes from the past to look at the earth at this moment, because um, only uh, only the dead people uh, belong to the past. Uh, Woman but um, um, what, what 